quite like, um, oh, I'll pick on a few, um, quite like the Ford Jack Jewel. Um, I think this is one of Taylor's favourites as well, if I need that from you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the Ford Jack Jewel is basically where you have four jacks in a line, on the centre line, and you um, one bowl goes to a certain jack, the next bowl goes to another one, and you do that with a four. Basically what you want to try and do is um, there's like a... I don't know, you could probably bring it up where there's a certain number structure, each jack has a certain number on it and you need to be able to get that one ball after the other and not make any mistakes. That one is great for weight control, especially when you're coming to a new green um, or a new town where you've never played there before. Um, and then I also quite like playing um, sort of two to two ditch kind of drills in that sense of getting a full feel of a green. Um, that one really helps me um, feel comfortable and confident kind of reaching the whole length of a green. Um, you can do things like drawing to a jack in the, um, in the ditch if you're doing some skip drills. Really each to their own. I mean, I'm mm. me often playing lead, I'm doing a lot of these drawing drills which I get a lot of enjoyment out of and every time I can let one rip, you know, in terms of a drive. Um, I do enjoy, you know, those target, those target practices as well. Yep, so I would agree the four jack drill is a personal favourite um, and you can actually adjust it to a three jack drill or whatever, mm. oh it's so hard to say, three jack, jack drill. drill. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So yeah it's, it's quite cool, it's quite adaptable. Um, there's also a bullseye drill where you have like 40 bowls to do different things and then you can do that and see what your percentage of effectiveness is, that's quite helpful too. Um, target areas are really helpful so you can have uh, a certain target area behind the jack or around the jack and that's something I often do with some of the youth bowlers I work with or some junior coaching I do where there's quite a decent target area and it just makes it so much more manageable to get to the jack because it becomes this big target not this tiny little ball mm. in this huge green. Um, so that can be really cool just to as you're starting off and then you can narrow it down as, as you get a little bit more competent. Mm. Um, Jack practice is another one as well. You can do some jack, jack drills. Mm. Um, yeah, there's heaps. There's so much you can do, and you can be quite creative, and you can and you mm. can set those goals in different ways as well to keep changing them up, even if it's the same drill. Um, so you might have a, a a set score that you want, or um, maybe it's you want a distraction as part of while you're doing it, or whatever you want to mm. do. Okay, um, here's a secondary question. Mm -hmm. Is there a time with either of you where a drill has identified a weakness in your game that you've been able to iron out, like your forehand or backhand's been a bit weaker or something like that? Mm. Uh, yep, I would say that um, they can kind of creep up to you uh, randomly as well. You do have your favourite favorite drills, but it's quite good to throw a new one in there because it can challenge you uh, in a way that you might be able to find that you struggle at it or maybe you're actually quite good at it. Uh, you know, and I think you can get creative in that sense of trying to mimic what has happened in a game and where you missed that shot. That's something that I do mm. to also help me get over um, some losses or some disappointments that I found in myself during some games. For example, if it was the first bowl of my oppositions was, say, you know, smack bang in the middle um, in front of the jack, should I have drove that or should I have drawn that off? And by doing drills, I was able to find what I was more effective in sort of first go. So by doing that one training session, then the next day and the next day and the next time, I then found some consistencies that actually, when I just drove it off, um, that gave me better chances with four bowls than I did with drawing it off. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I, I found in the past sometimes, um, Doing the, the jack drills, you find that there's some lengths that just take you quite a long time. And, and then it happens a few times, you think, oh, actually, I probably need to really nail this length and give this a bit of time. Because sometimes you do go through stages where you're 
just feeling certain lengths more than the others and it can mm. change like it's I, I, I don't like to get in my head that I have a particular length or hand or whatever that I prefer I think it's good to try and keep an open mind but um yeah sometimes it can highlight those those lengths and hands that you might be struggling with and you can spend a bit more time on those mm. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, cool. <laughs> the thing is, it's such a good, it's such a good topic, but it can be quite dry to talk about. I don't know yeah. how you make it exciting because it's <laughs> not. It's like yeah. it's the hard work part that's not yeah. that fun, but it's so important. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's only good once. Um, it's exciting as a player when you've yeah. done it. Yeah. Think mm. you know, identify the weakness. Yeah. 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 Fixed it. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes people don't like to. It's incredible what people can. Well, 